This is a great question and, and I, I'm a little bit long-winded in the same, but first and foremost, I would bring up training, right? We see a lot of development in technology and just general change in our industry. And so we really need to, as an industry, as ABS, as a class society, focus on the training of the crews, focus on the training of the shore-based people, and focus on the training of, of, of the surveyors that are out there looking at the vessels. Uh, second, I would say, and this is maybe the most important one, is safety. Right? We, we need to focus on safety at all times. As we develop these new fuels, the crews need to know how to use it. They need to know how to use it safely, and so do other areas of the industry. Third, I would say positive change. We are, it's, it's obvious that we're going through a time of change, uh, and we need to keep our, our best face forward. Right? And we need to be positive we move through that. That's the only way it's going to happen. Uh, fourth, we need collaboration across the industry. Uh, and this is really a, a big focus here at ABS with our clients. We want to work with our clients to help provide solutions. We are a solution-oriented company, and we're here to help them find those solutions. So let's work together, and let's get there. Um, that's four. And then, and then five. I just kind of touched on five there already, and that is providing solutions to our industry and our clients. As I just said, uh, we're here as a solution-driven organization to listen to what you need and what the industry needs and work to help you get there. So, thank you. We work in a difficult industry. There is, there is no on the clock and off the clock. You know, we are working seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And in many cases, on the crews of the ships, we're, not, we're away from our families for long periods of time. So it's challenging, but it's rewarding at the same time. Always look on the bright side. Uh, the, the second piece of advice that I'd offer on this is uh, to develop your network and maintain that network through your career. Uh, you, you're gonna meet so many people as you work through the maritime industry. And we are a large and a, and a small group all at the same time. So rem remember your friends and keep that network as you move forward. Uh, thirdly, Okay, don't be afraid of change. In my career, I started working as a marine engineer on an offshore platform. Uh, and then I joined ABS in Los Angeles, moved to Korea for a number of years, uh, took a role in Denmark, and now I'm based in, here in Europe, in, in London. And uh, through that process and through that change, you just had to embrace it. Don't, don't be afraid of it, is, is what I'll say to the people. Um, and then last but not least, this is something that I've, uh, that's come to my attention more and more recently, and that is, uh, remember you don't know what you don't know. And, and what do I mean by that? I mean, always keep learning, right? Always keep reading, always keep discovering, because you really don't know what somebody else is doing unless, unless you know it. So, um, yeah, that's the advice. If you can apply some of those aspects in your career, I think you'll have a, you'll have a very good chance and a good way to move forward. So I think we all know here what some of the key challenges are today. It's decarbonization, it's adapting to the ES ESG, it's the training, some of the things that I said earlier in, in, the, in the questions. Um, but I think one thing we have to remember, and from my perspective, is that we, what got us here today is not necessarily what's going to keep us here tomorrow or what's going to move us forward. So as I've stated before, we, we have to embrace change, we have to be solutions driven, and we have to be ready to take action. Here at ABS, these are all part of, our, part of what we try to focus on. We try to work with our clients and work in the industry to provide solutions. So this is a great question, and, uh, and I, have a, a couple of, I have three key points here that I'd like to make on this. I think first and foremost, what's going to make a difference are market-based measures. 
and some of the things that we regulations that we see like fuel EU and fuel EU ETS, uh, and hopefully soon from the IMO some similar requirements. Uh, it, it is controversial, but I think this is going that this is a straight tax in many ways, and it's going to drive the the industry to change. Uh, the second item that I would mention on that is really the, the direct consumer. As they start to demand for emis lower emissions or more greener products, that's going to go to the industry, the, the, our charterers, and that's going to come back into shipping. And, and we'll have more of a market for that. Uh, and third and final, it's the attitude in our, in our industry. We need to have a pod positive go-getter uh, attitude towards this change. Uh, if we don't put our best face on and, uh, and go out there and take action, it's not going to happen. So uh, here at ABS, that's, that's the approach that we have, and we're here to ready to work with all our clients in the, in the industry to make this happen.